Hundreds of kids lined up this morning to get signed up for the 2023 Summer Reading Program at the Leeds Scottsdale Public Library. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me in our top story. The summer reading program at the Leeds Scottsdale Public Library kicked off this morning with another massive crowd waiting to get signed up. This year's theme is All Together Now, and before registration opened, a massive crowd gathered outside of the library. Some of the first through the door to get signed up were given goodie bags and crafts, and teens were also able to enter for special prizes for signing up on the first day. Children's librarian Deb Carlson tells KNB News about some of the exciting prizes kids can earn this year as they read over the summer. And just from there, we have sometimes one event a week, sometimes two, just lots happening, obviously no cost to attend. So uh, one thing we would love them to read those five books in the first two weeks because they get to come see Minions with us at the Midwest Theater on the 20th. Well, Union Pacific's famed Big Boy number 4014, the world's largest steam locomotive still in operation, returns to the rails this week for its Home Run Express tour to Omaha for the College World Series. The Big Boy will leave Cheyenne on Wednesday morning and will make stops across Wyoming and Nebraska. On Wednesday evening, the public is invited to get up close and personal with the locomotive in Gehring, and conductor Ed Dickens explains how the locomotive got its name. And the very first one, as it was being built in Schenectady, New York in 1941, some anonymous employee, they don't know who, wrote the words Big Boy. And from that point on, the word, the word stuck on that class of engines. The railroad was considering naming them another name. And as soon as that hit the, uh, hit the newsprint of the 1940s, the name Big Boy stuck. The Big Boy locomotive is expected to rumble into Gehring around 4.30 p.m. Wednesday at the Union Pacific Park on 7th Street. The train will stay overnight before departing east on Thursday, making a stop in Broadwater, and it will also make stops on its way back home in Sydney and Kimball. We'll have more news right after this. Swipe right, swipe left, endlessly searching. Finding the perfect match isn't always perfect, but it can be when it comes to finances. Nora found the perfect business loan. Jenny opened her first savings account. Grammy loves her checking account. We found a match for Wilson Farms. The Sandersons were matched with a mortgage. Regardless of your financial situation, Platte Valley Bank will match you with the perfect solution. Find your match at Platte Valley Bank. Benzel Pest Control has been the Wyoming and Nebraska area's most committed professional pest control company. We have four generations and nearly 50 years of experience serving Nebraska, Wyoming, and Colorado, as well as certified entomologists on staff. So whether you're dealing with spiders, wasps, rodents, or any other unwanted visitors, give Benzel Pest Control a call today for an estimate at 888-229-2128 or visit our website at benzelpestcontrol.com. Why love a rain garden? Let me count the ways. Rain gardens contain and filter water runoff while recharging our underground water supply. They provide habitat for birds, bees, and beneficial insects. Native perennials give four seasons of color and texture, beautifying a home while increasing its value. Established gardens are low maintenance, low water landscape features. Colorful, functional, and sustainable. Rain gardens, brought to you by Tri-City Stormwater. Our water, our responsibility. Welcome back. A former Scottsdale man and former manager of 21st Century Equipment's leasing division was sentenced to prison Friday for stealing from his former employer. 42-year-old Corey Huber was given an indeterminate sentence of not more than eight years and no less than four years imprisonment with two days already served after pleading no contest last December to an amended Class 2A felony charge of theft by unlawful taking $5,000 or more. Following an initial investigation leading to one theft charge, Huber ultimately was charged with 37 counts of theft by unlawful taking for allegedly using 21st century leasing funds without company knowledge for numerous personal purchases, including vehicles and recreation vehicles, in excess of approximately $388,000. 
The Nebraska State Patrol conducted the investigation, and the case was prosecuted by Special Deputy County Attorney Doug Warner with the Nebraska Attorney General's Office. Well, a Gehring man who was arrested in March of 2022 following a series of controlled drug buys by the Wing Drug Task Force has been found guilty on one of two distribution charges. 40-year-old Santos Gutierrez was charged with selling meth to cooperating individuals working with the Wing Drug Task Force involving a total of nearly one gram of the narcotic. Last week in district court, he stood trial on two Class II felonies, and on Friday, the jury found him guilty on the second count, but were deadlocked on the first count. He faces one to 50 years in prison when he's sentenced on August 4th. Last fall, he had pleaded no contest to an amended charge of attempted distribution of a controlled substance, but later withdrew that plea and opted to stand trial instead. And after just two and a half months on the job, Bridgeport City Administrator Don Martin has resigned. In her monthly update, Mayor Gail Byer announced that the resignation was effective May 30th and appreciates the work that she completed during her brief tenure. She adds that the city will advertise to fill the position, but will not rush into hiring until they find a great match. Martin began her duties on March 13th, and before coming to Bridgeport, she was the assistant city manager and emergency manager for Sydney. Better sleep and better health can be found at Western Sleep Medicine in Gehring. Since 2006, Western Sleep Medicine has offered the lowest cost sleep testing either in their independent sleep laboratory or the privacy of your own home. You have control over your health care and your out-of-pocket costs. All insurance is accepted for a much lower cost than the regional option. If you need a sleep study, ask for Western Sleep Medicine. They've helped thousands of people over the years and want to help you. Western Sleep Medicine. Better sleep, better health. Life is crazy. Pain is stressful. How can anybody concentrate with these busy schedules? Now you can. This is Ben Moravec coming to you from HydroZen, a float therapy business right here in Scotts Bluff. I'm here today to let you know we now have memberships for $49 monthly. You can guarantee yourself at least one float per month. You know how floating keeps your muscles relaxed, your joints relieved, and your brain clear to think? Now you can float at a reduced rate each month. Inquire today at hydrozenfloat.com or call us at 308-63-FLOAT. Hydrozen. Unplug and recharge. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Teens from across the panhandle convened at the Legacy of the Plains Museum Thursday for tractor safety training. The training is part of the National Safe Tractor and Machinery Operation Program. It allows 14 and 15 year olds not working on their parent or guardian's farm to work and operate on-farm equipment more than 20 horsepower or connect or disconnect an implement from a tractor. Before the teens can begin hands-on training, they need to have completed the online class or its equivalent. John Thomas, a University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension educator, explains the in-person part of the program. We've gone over everything uh, with the tractor and there's lots of different models of tractors, older tractors, newer tractors, uh, gone, gone over all of the safety information that we can with these kids. And then they literally get on those tractors, uh, get on the tractor and run through this course and we, we grade them. And, uh, and then after they finish that, they literally take a certificate to the Division of Motor Vehicles and they get a, a, a farm safety license. The goal of the class is to prepare the teenagers for the rest of their lives and make sure they can work safely with the machinery. 
Farming is probably one of the most hazardous occupations that there is uh, for, for people and there's lots of injuries every year and so this class is to help young people uh, start off being safe with tractor and machinery operation. This means that parents, teens, and farm employers need to be aware of the dangers and act responsibly. Teens also need to be able to say no when asked to do something they know is unsafe. Well, we want to instill within those kids that they can very respectfully decline to do something if it's dangerous and if they know it's dangerous. And so we'd like to send those kids away with understanding that. The UNL Extension offices offer these tractor safety courses annually, and you can contact Thomas at the Scottsbluff office for more information at 308-762-5616. In Gehring, Rebecca White, KNEB.TV News. Renewal by Anderson Windows and Patio Doors, the customers say it best, and they feel the difference every day. Very happy with it. Very, very happy. I, I don't get tired of looking at them. And it's so nice with the breeze now opening the windows, the ease of sliding the windows back and forth. Notice that it is warmer in the winter time, and it is cooler when the sun is shining in. Renewal by Anderson Windows and Patio Doors, the customers say it best. Book your free estimate right now at rbawyoming.com. Let's take a look at your community calendar brought to you by Riverstone Bank. The community calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. We're local and we love our community. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you plan for tomorrow while you enjoy today. Our personalized trust services can help you do just that. You've worked hard to build your legacy, and you want to make sure that gets passed on for generations to come. We offer the professional guidance necessary to ensure that happens. According to your wishes, we pride ourselves in being friendly and professional while offering a highly tailored full line of trust and estate planning services to accommodate you. You belong here. 
And finally tonight, area children had the opportunity to showcase goats, sheep, and cattle in categories of market, breeding, and showmanship over the weekend. Freedom in the Ring, a two-day volunteer-run, community-sponsored livestock show, allows kids of all ages from the tri-state region to have a chance to practice and learn about showing their animals ahead of fair season. Gina Linton, one of the volunteers who coordinated the event this year, says why they show livestock. You know, we're very proud of our agricultural roots and we want to pass that on to the next generation. So this is just one way that we can do that and to showcase um, show animals in all different species. The event gives the kids an opportunity to get feedback from a judge on how their animals are doing. She says with such diverse age groups, the older kids can help mentor the younger kids with their animals and give back to the community. We're providing an, another opportunity for them to come and showcase their animals in front of a judge to be judged on the animal, the market ability of the animal, as well as the showmanship ability. Grand prizes for each area included $750 cash, a belt buckle, and banner, with lesser categories receiving smaller prizes. Well, that is it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.